students in this video we are going to discuss about the realization of digital iar filter we have in fir filter realization we have discussed about three methods right so direct form realization second one is cascade form realization and third one is parallel realization right so here we are going to see the similar concept direct form cascade form and parallel realization but there are uh, apart from this realization there are also transposed to direct and lattice realization are there but we are going to see only these three okay in direct form there are two types direct form one realization and direct form two realization so first we will see what is direct form one realization uh, before that we i will just recall what is an iir filter and we will see the input and output uh, related equations uh, in this uh, direct form one realization now consider this direct form one realization considered in any lta recursive system the lta recursive system is de uh, described by the differ uh, differential uh, sorry this is what correct difference equation only so it is a difference equation so here in ir filter the output depends upon present and uh, past input and also it depends upon past output so these are all the three things the output depends upon so here consider this equation so here this y of n y is the output so it depends upon present input and past input so present input represent x of n and past input represent x of n minus k similarly here past output represent y of n minus k so now in order to obtain y of n what you need to have is you need you need to shift this so summation k equal to 1 to n a k y of n minus k plus summation k equal to 0 to m b k x of n minus k okay so this is what your uh, difference equation relating the input and output of an iir filter okay so here why i am having minus here is because uh, th this belongs to this summation right so y of n belong to this summation and here the k start from 1 to n not from 0 if it start from 0 uh, we have we have to consider y of n here okay so here it starts from 1 to n so y of n is equal to minus summation k equal to 1 to n a k y of n minus k which is equal to now here i am bringing this side so i am have represented this equation okay now i am going to represent this realization here now this is what iir now consider fir so i will just correlate with this in this fir y of n is equal to summation k equal to 0 to m b k that is x of n minus k this equation alone you are having so you have easily realized it now here you are having both the equation now uh, consider this equation now where when you go find out the transfer function right when you find out the transfer function what is the transfer function it is nothing but y of z by x of z right so if i want to bring y of z by x of z i group the, i have this equation i will apply z transform so these are I represent the coefficient this ak represent the coefficient so you will get in the uh, denominator the values and the x of z you will get the value at the numerator so the numerator here you will have the coefficients of uh, bk that is bk coefficient uh, input coefficient and in the denominator you will have the output previous output coefficients aks okay so here in this fir filter what you have realized you have easily realized the numerator coefficient now we will have both numerator and denominator coefficient so here similar to ir sorry fir here we are going to do uh, we are going to realize uh, in, uh, in addition to the numerator coefficient we are going to realize the denominator coefficient now consider this equation this is what the difference equation for an iir filter now consider this equation this is what the uh, fir filter uh, equation now how we have realized that so in fir filter input is x of n so you need to consider that much of delay so here i am having m delay so i need to write as uh, here is total delay is m delays i will have so i have realized this structure so these are all the coefficient of x of n that is the input okay now in addition to that i am having this okay normally this is what your output you will get right so now what you need to do is i am going to realize the, the, the that is uh, 
because you, you are going to depend upon the previous so i am going to consider this so if i substitute k equal to 1 so i will i will pass this y of n in one time delay and i will get the output and i will have a1 so instead of my a1 here what i will have i will have minus a1 similarly i will draw for all the parts up to n okay so just i am drawing this so delay is there so minus an is there then i need to add all these things right i have added it now both the values should be added so here this is the output so i am here inserting an adder i am adding this with this so this is what your x of n this is what your y of n i am adding it i am getting this realization so this is what the direct form realization structure so this uh, direct form one require m plus n plus one multipliers m plus n additions and uh, because this involve m addition and this involve n addition so m plus n addition so uh, and m plus n plus one memory location so this is what the requirement uh, you need in order to realize a direct form one structure now we will see some problem in this so now what you need to do is you need to realize the second order digital i uh, the digital filter y of n is equal to this is what the relation between input and output so what is the first step is in order to realize any realization structure you need the transfer function okay so first you need to convert the difference equation you have uh, you have to convert the difference equation into transfer function form for that what i am going to do is i am going to apply uh, that is since it is a uh, the, that is y of n is a discrete uh, time signal uh, okay i am going to apply z transform applying z transform so here for this equation so uh, you, uh, y of n z transform is y of z so this two cos r r two r cos omega naught here omega naught is not having n if it has if it has n we can apply z transform for that so it considered as a constant so two r cos omega naught so y of z into z power minus 1 since it is a delay r square y of z into z power minus 2 plus x of z minus r cos omega naught x of z into z power minus 1 now you group this y of z here you bring all the z term here so what you will get is the 1 minus 2 r cos omega naught so you bring this side minus uh, that is into z inverse minus r square z power minus 2 which is equal to group x of z so 1 minus r cos omega naught z inverse so now when you write find out the transfer function h of z is equal to y of z by x of z so which is nothing but 1 minus r cos omega naught z inverse divided by 1 minus 2 r cos omega naught z inverse minus r square z power minus 2 so now i have obtained the transfer function now i need to realize you know that well, so consider this one now i will correlate this e both these two equations okay so here the b naught represent the coefficient of x of n okay now here this represent uh, numerator term represent the coefficient of x of n so what i am going to do is i am going to draw this structure okay so first what i need to do is i'm going to draw x of n okay so here you will have y of n okay so x of n coefficient you have to consider numerator so first it, it is one right so the next one is you are having one delay so you need to consider one delay so this delay is multiplied by r cos omega naught that is minus r cos omega naught then i am going to add these two things okay so this is what the i have realized the numerator then i am going to realize the denominator so re while realizing denominator first consider how many delays so i am having only two delays okay so y of n so here what i am going to do is first z inverse so here it is minus 2r so what you need to write is you need to write plus 2r because actually we have grouped y of z but in this equation so when you bring this side uh, consider this one what is the coefficient you are having for uh, this 
y n minus 1 to car cos omega naught but here you are having minus 2 the reason is in order to group this transfer function but actually it is 2r so for this uh, uh, denominator if you have minus you have to write plus if it is plus you need to write it minus so that is the thing you need to remember it okay minus r squared so now you need to add these two equations so now i have added this one so okay so this is what your y of n so this is what your uh, direct form direct form one realization for the given problem now consider this problem so first the same difference equation it is given there uh, they have given so i am going to apply z transform so y of z 0.5 y of z z inverse minus 0.25 y of z z power minus 2 plus x of z plus 0.4 x of z z z minus so grouping y of z so you will get 1 minus 0.5 z inverse plus 0.25 z power minus 2 and x of z coefficient is 1 plus 0.4 z inverse okay now what you need to do is you need to find out uh, transfer function h of z so h of z is equal to y of z by uh, x of z so i have got this so i have realized the numerator so x of n one delay is there multiplied by 0.4 so it then i add with an adder then mm, here y of n so uh, one my uh, here it is minus 0.5 so plus 0.5 how many delays two delays i have drawn so it is minus 0.25 then it adder and then finally you have will got the output so this is what you have to realize in direct form one so listen here over here the direct form one require so many delay element okay now in direct form two what we are going to do is we are going to have a common delay element and then we are going to realize this structure that's what the difference now consider the direct form to realization the same transfer function here uh, somewhat different so you need you are going to have a common delay and this side what you need to do is you need to realize the numerator coefficient and this side you are going to realize the denominator coefficient listen by seeing the structure itself we just we can obtain the coefficient that is the thing don't uh, think about the logic right so here what you need to do is you have to have, uh, draw the common delay element and this side uh, right side you need to realize the denominator coefficient Let, left sorry right side you need to realize the numerator coefficient and the left side you need to re realize the denominator coefficient that's it very simple don't confuse about this logic by seeing the structure itself uh, we know that it is a direct form realization if the uh, structure is given we can easily obtain the transfer function okay now we will see problem related to this now consider the same problem okay so i'm going to realize in direct form direct form 2 okay so here what you need to consider is we need to check how many delays are there so in the numerator you are having one delay in denominator you are having two delays so you have to consider a maximum delay and you have to draw the number of maximum delay so i am drawing two okay so in the right side you need to realize the numerator coefficient so here it is one so i am realizing one so here the coefficient is minus r cos omega naught okay then i am going to add it the output is y of n okay so now this side i am going to realize the denominator coefficient the denominator coefficient is minus 2 r so i am going to write 2 r cos omega naught plus so here it is minus r square so it is plus r square then i am going to add it here also i am going to add it so here it is an input x of n so this out this is go to the output okay so this is what the direct form to realization structure just we have reduced the number of delays okay consider this problem so the the given difference equation so i have our find out the transfer function so this is what the transfer function now check how many maximum delays in numerator and denominator both are having two delays so i have drawn two delays okay so this side i am going to realize the numerator coefficient so here what i am having it is 0 0.7 so for uh, one delay there is no coefficient so you just leave it for two delay what you are having is you are having minus 2.52 then you have to add these two things 
okay now you have to realize the denominator coefficient so here it is plus 0.1 so it is minus so here it is minus so it is plus okay so you need to add these two okay so here the input is x of n so this output will go here and you will get the output y of n so this is what the realization direct form to realization so we hope you have understand the direct form 1 and direct form 2 realization. The next we will discuss about cascade and parallel realization. Thank you.